Hi there everybody, today it's unboxing time again. Got a package from Naturkompaniet. And I have to be careful, so we need a scissor. Always best. All right, <clears throat> let's see what's in here. All right, some folder and a checklist. When you get the package from Nature Company yet, I have to read that later. I have to say, packing slip and it says that it is a Hilleberg Acto Green. Yeah, so I just ordered myself a new tent. Nice package. As you may have seen on some early videos, I have an old trusty Hilleberg Allak 2 as well. So what I am going to do is to take this with me and as well the Hilleberg Allak. So we will pitch both the Acto and the Allak and compare them. Let's have a look at them. Yeah, nice, small, lightweight. Okay, let's not talk, let's pitch. Alright, before we pitch the tent we will have a look at my at how it's packed and uh, continue the unboxing or unpacking. Uh, here beside this uh, Hilleberg Acto I have my Hilleberg Allak 2 as well. It's the one with the the former color and this is this is a new color of green. Somewhat lighter green and darker green, more like forest or green or an olive green. I don't know if you agree, you can comment, of course. It's pretty windy today, so uh, uh, I have found a spot that is pretty windy because I want to test the, to pitch this Hilleberg in a windier condition. That helps me a lot to understand how it works. Okay, let's see what's in it. Uh, Hilleberg Acto. I don't know if that is a serial number or if it's an inspection number, part number. Uh, inspected by Rina Mikor. Nice. I'm sure she has done a good job. Very nice fabric. Oh, of course, 
as usual in the Hilleberg tents you have an extra repair pole with a repair sleeve as well and the instruction for that I will let it be kept into this package tag of 10 10 10 stakes this kind of v-shape I know for the Steika that is similar to my Alak, there are more like a star pattern in the stakes. So there is 10 in there, I have counted them. And we have the tent itself inside here. Yeah, same color as the as the bag, but I will pitch it in a windier place, so I will put it up there. We could talk about differences uh, uh, when they are packed. First, uh, these two tents should not really be compared to each other, but it could be interesting because since I have both of them. Uh, the weight of the tent, I have tested it at home. The Acto weighted 1.7 kilos right in this condition from the factory. The Allak weighs 3.2 but in this condition I have a footprint uh, connected to it. I always have that. It weighs 3.7 so the difference, the difference is 2 kilos and that's a lot. And if you measure them in this condition, if you squeeze it down to the peg length, it's like four to five centimeters long. And the alak that is more squeezed into this bag because the the footprint is connected. It could be squeezed down to about 45 as well on the length diameter could be squeezed down to 18 or 20 centimeters something like that yeah it's a significant difference
Yeah, here it is. My new Acto pitched. Not been in it yet, so we have to we still have to look how it looks inside. Very easy to pitch, it went fast. I don't know, I didn't took the time, but uh, could make that later. It goes very fast. Easy, 10 stakes, one pole. You start from the wind, just erect it. Looks actually very wide. I thought it was smaller. Here's compared to the Allak. If you, as you see, I don't need the the guy lines, even if it's windy. When all stakes are in, it's very stable. But of course, in the extreme extreme conditions, you have to. Put stake stake down the guidelines as well. I don't know if you can see the color difference. Old green, new green. <clears throat> but hey, let's have a look inside. Really nice. Perhaps it's more quiet inside. Oh, very nice. Yes, yeah, a thread in there to hold the shape. Okay, here it looks. Okay, so this is the first test then. <laughs> well, it's very comfy in here. It's pretty roomy as well. Not as roomy as the Allak at the foot and head sides, of course, due to the shape. It's very nice. So that there is a ventilation up here. Feel a good drag, especially now when it's windy. <coughs> it's very roomy, roomy abside or vestibule, and the shape. That gives room for both me and my dog at the side. Some small packing, of course, some have it to be out in the vestibule. Then I looked at the ventilation as well in there. It's, as you can see here, it's kind of a mesh. Different kind of fabrics than the than on the roof side. So it vents through this actually. And if you even need more ventilation, then you open this one. Whoa. Now that opening is directly into the wind and it's flowing heavily inside here. So when it's windy, it's actually vents very well. I will see how it will work in, in other conditions with less wind. I've heard a lot of condensation and such like that in those small tents and I can imagine that that you're very important and how you where you pitch it and and in which direction to get the wind. Of course you <laughs> many do like me we want to we want to have a, a view from the vestibule and then
we maybe not place it that well. Yeah, so what do you say about this view? View from the vestibule. That could be managed. Very nice. And this tent with only one opening, you have to put it in the way that you <laughs> have the best view. Of course. Only one mesh pocket. I would like to have two of these, of course. Should be one on the other side as well. But there is only one, but that's okay. See, I like it very much. <clears throat> the ventilations could be managed from both the outside and inside. Of course, it's easier to, to make it from the outside because you have to, to take one uh, toggle of the inner tent to reach them. I just realized that I had to uh, train someone how to, to uh, toggle up this uh, opening. I have to roll it from the beginning and to the middle and tight it and then start over when you roll it and then it will be nice and tidy. Okay. So at six foot or, or just about 180 it's a little bit, little bit low for for sit right up, but that comes with the design, of course. Well, let's have a look in the airlock as well. Yeah, it's a two-person tent, of course, with a lot of more space. And accordingly with the two organizers. In this tent, you have a lot, lot of headspace. No problem at all if you're six foot or, or some more to have a good amount of headspace, ventilations. Similar on both both sides because it's two openings. I will have a look in the act again, of course, and see the difference in the of the colors inside. I luck like with the two doors open. It's a bug net on both uh, inner tent doors rolled up right now and uh, here it's fitted with a footprint the vestibules are pretty much the same size in the Akto and Alak the difference there is one one side on the Akto of course Regarding, regarding condensation, I have never had a problem with this at the Alak. Never, ever. Probably because there's a very, very good ventilation in this tent and that I always use the footprint. Makes it heavier, about one half kilo. But that, it's worth it. My main use of this tent has been for adventure riding with motorcycle and uh, of course backpacking and canoeing, kayaking. That has been the main purpose. I have even been backpacking alone with it 
I think it's pretty heavy for that. So that's the reason why I bought this very, very nice Akito. I'm very, very happy with it so far. First look. I will keep it uh, without the footprint uh, for now. That is what I'm thinking anyway, right now. I will keep it uh, lightweight for backpacking with and without my dog and uh, it could probably go with me on adventure riding as well was a little bit worried about the uh, how this storage space in the vestibule or ab side but it seems like it looked to handle even a motorcycle packing very well the things that you bring with you in the tent very nice and roomy. We have to go inside here again. See if the darker color got some difference. It feels very comfy. So, vents are open. Yeah, here we could see made by Valve Nigul, made in Estonia. So, that's the name of who made it. And we as well have the name of who has inspected it on that sticker. Okay, it took a while before I found the, the tags that told who's made it. This Alak tent is made by Aime True. Don't know about the pronunciation. And as well made in Estonia. Nice to know. Pretty cool to know who has made the tent, sewing it. Very nice. You should be very proud of making such a great tent. to loosen the toggles in the in the tent and see if I could sit uh, fully have a fully sit length inside the tent and I have yeah that's cool slightly more than 180 and uh, six foot and I can actually sit upright but only when I untoggle the inner tent but that's good to know if you need to Funny thing is that I've actually found a bug net here. Yeah, didn't see that the first time. There is a small bug net with Velcro. Nice. Found this when I packed down the, the Acto as well. What's in the bag, in the bottom of the bag? It's an instruction on how to pitch and take care of the tent. Nice, didn't see that first. All right, to sum up this little unboxing, uh, I have, have to say I'm impressed. I think this uh, tent was a little bit uh, bigger than I thought, seen on pictures and so. And uh, Seems to vent very well if you open it up, all the vents. And uh, it will be a nice companion on backpacking and probably even on the on the adventure riding on the motorbike as well. When I don't need the the two person uh, capacity that the Alak have. So I will keep both these tents for sure. You easily get addicted to these Hilleberg tents. It's a keeper. All right. Stay tuned and see you again. Let's see what happens on the next one. Hopefully I'm out with a tent or doing some other funny stuff. That could be interesting. Bye.